Hello everyone and welcome to workout number one of our at-home workout series. Make sure you have sufficiently warmed up and hydrated before beginning this workout. Here's what today's workout will look like. You're going to complete three to six rounds of these four movements. The first movement is the push-up, the second movement is the lateral lunge, the third movement is the glute bridge, and the last movement is flutter kicks. Now I will demonstrate each exercise for you. The first exercise is the push-up. You are going to start in a plank position and then lower your chest towards the floor and then press back up and return to the plank position. You're going to do this for 10 repetitions. If you need to modify the exercise, you can do the same exact movement from your knees. The next exercise is the lateral lunge. Start upright with your feet shoulder width apart and then you're going to step out to the side and lunge. You're going to do this 10 repetitions on each leg. If you're having problems finding the right length to step to each time you lunge, you can start with your legs out wide and then you can squat back and forth. So this will be our modification and turn it into a lateral squat. The next exercise is the glute bridge. You're going to start on your back with your heels about a foot away from your butt. Then you're going to raise your hips off the floor until you're in a nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees. You're going to hold this for one minute. The last exercise is our flutter kicks. Start on your back with your legs straight out in front of you, then raise your legs up and do alternating leg raises for one minute. Alright, let's take a look at the full session again. So remember you're going to complete three to six rounds of this workout. Each round you're going to do 10 push-ups, 10 lateral lunges each leg, you're going to hold your glute bridge for one minute, and then you're going to do flutter kicks for one minute. Good luck with the session and make sure that you work at your own pace, stay hydrated, and stay safe. After you complete your workout, be sure to reference our cool down video to help you recover from today's session.